Hello everyone, myself Yash Holkar and today my topic of presentation is poroscopy and angioscopy. So, uh, what we can see first is poroscopy and its history. So, the fingerprint work in poroscopy was the terms applied to a specialized study of pore structure found on the papillary ridges of the skin as a means of identification. Firstly, this, coin, this term was coined by Dr. Edmund Locard in France in 1912. Firstly, uh, the, the reason he did this was there were uh, an increasing amount of theft and break-ins uh, in France that time. So he thought that, the, that there were several latent prints which were developed on the jewelry boxes which were actually stolen. He found that there were several latent prints found on the jewelry boxes and thought that it may be photographed and can be helped in identifying the suspect and the culprit. So, firstly we will study how does pore formation happens and what is the anatomy of pores. We can, uh, according to science, we can say uh, the papillary skin of, uh, of our hands contains of average around 2700 sweat glands per square inch. That is, each, each, each and every gland actually opens into a duct and which opens up into a ridge surface. Each and every gland. So, and the opening at which the ridge opens is actually called a pore and which is, uh, which is actually a means of secreting sweat of the body through your hands and through the ridges of the uh, palms. So, the skin on the palmal surface of the hands are the plantar surfaces of the feet are covered with ridges. This this terms uh, this term actually tells a similar thing. The fact that both of these are present, these ridges are present not only on the hands but also on the palm surfaces, and these ridges begin to form uh, during the human fetus during the third and fourth months of the life during the pregnancy of the during the third and fourth month of the pregnancy. These ridges these ridges begin to form. So. Uh, these ridges actually appear as uh, apertures around the pores. Sorry. The pores appear at the center or at the uh, or at the circumference of the ridges. The pores may op uh, open anywhere across the ridge surface, but they are mostly found near the midline of the ridges. Basically, the midline consists most of the pores around the uh, around the ridges. So. Fingerprint development with the help of pores and uh, what are some techniques to do so? So, poroscopy is actually a refinement of science of identification by ridge characteristics. Ridge characteristics are actually done to identify various culprits. These characteristics are studied in three levels. Right? So, poroscopy is the third level of that part. So, the pore structure of the papillary skin is, a, is as unique just as the every skin is different, every hair is different, just like po every pore structure of every person is kind of different. The papillary skin is different as the ridges are different. So, due to the microscopic nature of the pores, they are not commonly reproduced by ordinary physical methods of development. Just because the pores are very hard to see, they are, they are developed with special techniques, special methods of development. As we can say, uh, they are actually seen in powdered image occasionally. There are several techniques, powdered powder method techniques, which are used to find out the pores, the and to and to and to make the pores visible. So some of the techniques are one of which are nine hydrin and silver nitrate. These latent fingerprint techniques are used uh, normally to check the pore structure and pore nature of the fingerprint. So, what is then angioscopy? We come to the second phase of our presentation. What is angioscopy and how it was developed and what it may, what is its history? So, just like poroscopy, angioscopy is also an extra extension of identification of rich characteristics. Right? Rich characteristics are identified on three different kind of levels, out of which poroscopy and angioscopy are accumulated into the third part of rich characteristics identification. Three third level of rich characteristics of identification. These are generally, but not always, microscopic in nature. They may be seen sometimes or sometimes may not be seen uh, with naked eye. So, papillary ridges are formed during fetal lift. 
right when the person when there is a fetus sent to the uh, pregnant woman we can say these are these ridges are actually formed and the edges of these ridges are actually formed during the birth so uh, the ridges which are formed onto the fetus during the birth are not are not straight they are sometimes irregular they are sometimes individualistic and they are every most of the times very very unique just as like ridge characteristics in the level 1 and level 2 so the edgoscopy term was coined by salil k chatterjee and it was published uh, in a fingerprint and identification september 1962 issue which was afterwards uh, which were afterwards published into second printing of his book which was termed as finger palmed and soul prints and that happened in 1967 so chatterjee's original idea was to use ridge characteristics in concert and other friction ridge formations to establish individualization individualization was need to be done with the help of these ridge characteristics so what are the characteristics of friction ridges so chatterjee what happened is chatterjee encountered various shapes and friction ridges edges that that were visible to him under the microscope or even by some or even sometimes by the naked eye so he actually gave the ridges the edges of the ridges specific names there are some characteristics which he encountered first would be a straight edged second would be a con- concave uh, convex edge then the peak the edge protrudes in a peak the edge protrudes and protrusion has a broad base and pointed top just like a hill then there is a table the edge has a protrusion and a narrow base and a broad flat top then there is a pocket the edge looks like a pocket a narrow opening with a concave edge and an angle and the eight the eight characteristics there there may be infinite of other any other characteristics other than those mentioned above so there are several kinds of characteristics seven of them are mentioned by chatterjee and eight part of it he mentions that there may be several other kinds of characteristics so the edgoscopy is similar in poroscopy that it may be rarely used in identification because it is a very hard technique to identify and it may be used in some parts where the ridges are not or the fingerprints are not clearly visible or the parts of the fingerprints are visible so it is a difficult task of comparing so many pores because many people may have similar kind of pores uh, but edgoscopy has its own difficulties similarly any identification process must mimic as closely as possible the brain's natural approach to the task mostly what happens is any examiner will tell you that they when comparing the prints they often just see an area a specific area which they have uh, which they know they have a match but sometimes what happens is or at least they have a starting point right so most often what happens they are not seeing only points but also edges of the pores that attract their attention right the three levels of details use all of the available information contained within a fingerprint to make a comparison and identifications done on the basis of the same finger so there are several kinds of difficulties with poroscopy and edgoscopy and poroscopy and edgoscopy are only done only when the first two levels of identification are not possible or not technically happening with the uh, technically not possible poroscopy and edgoscopy are done both after both of the levels are not possible to recognize the fingerprint or the identity of the culprit so thank you for everything um, here are some of the references which i used for this presentation thank you one and all have a nice day